All right, guys, well, I've got all my columns marked for where the wall panels are going to go into the grooves. So now I get to take everything down, make a series of grooves for the wall panels, the headboard, the sideboard. Uh, I'm delaying doing the one where the arch is going to be above the door because I've not set the jam yet. So I'll put it back together, figure that out, and just pull that one column and do it. All right, guys, well, I had this thing totally dismantled and out of my shop, and it was kind of nice to have my floor space back, but it's slowly coming in now. I've got the grooves cut here, like I'd mentioned, that are going to support wall panels, as well as this side over here. The other two I'm not going to bother to show. I'm just starting my mock-up again. I've got my headboard mocked in here. There's actually a dado in this base. You can't see it that runs all the way across and then into here to support that. Uh, I'm test fitting the sideboard right now. I don't have this column in yet. I'm getting ready to put that in. Uh, I did have a mistake here and there. Uh, my guide for my router slipped on me and I just gouged way off into here. I don't know if you can see my repair, but I took out a square from here all the way up to here and made a piece, glued it in, did a little body work on it, and then recut that. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it, but I show my mistakes as well. A little bit of blow out here and there on the veneer. You know, they're starting to chip up from manhandling this stuff. You know, I've been doing a lot of moving around with it, you know, banging it into things, and I'll do the body work the best I can and try to get it back and put in without too much damage, but I'm sure I will have some. So, I'm just mocking up and moving on. Alright guys, well I've made some progress. Just going to give you an update here. Uh, in the last clip I called this a dado. It's not, it's a rabbit. I put a rabbit in the upright from the base. So this actually rests against that. I've cut my caps to length. Originally I was going to have a dowel in each end of these. But it turns out I'm not going to need them. It's going to be plenty rigid. I am going to add a cove here. I went through my stash of things and found some coves. So the cove is actually going to go up under here like this. None of this is glued yet. I'm just doing dry fit mock-ups. Uh, these are too short right here, so I'll scarf these together. They will go on this wall. And then I've got a, a longer piece here that will go on the back wall. So that is kind of wrapping up the bottom here. On this right here, this is just simply a filler, so Legos and whatnot don't get down behind the bed so we can't get to them. I'll put a couple of screws through here to support that, but everything is looking pretty good. I'll move up top here. I've dry fit all the wall panels. I did not put the windows in yet or build them because if anything didn't fit here, it'd be difficult for me to cut them to fit, but it's looking pretty good. Uh, these are not screwed down yet, nor the top ones. I've scribed marks where they're going to go. I'll pull this panel out, I'll screw them top and bottom, and then I'll put the panels back in for the final fit. Uh, I've well has put the groove in this jam here to where it locks in. I was going to use dowels top and bottom on this, but I've kind of changed my mind. I'm going to go ahead and just run two screws up from the bottom since I have room. And on the top, I've decided not to glue this peak on. Instead, I'm just going to screw it on with several screws across there. And there's a couple of reasons for that, or main one main reason. The ceilings in my house are actually a little taller than 8 feet, so I was kind of building it to that. And I, I would have just enough room to slide it all up and get it out. But if we ever move and have actual 8-foot ceilings, I wouldn't be able to take this on and off if I needed to, or even assemble the bed for that matter. So I'm going to go ahead and just screw those peaks on in lieu of gluing them. And that will also give me room on the top, because of the setback here, to screw this from the top and then put that on because I needed more clearance to get to the middle and as it is this is in the way I can't get a screw that'll be easier than trying to dowel that so I believe the only place that I'm going to need to dowel something is where the railing meets right here I'll have a dowel in each end to support the top and then the bottom like I would mentioned before will be screwed up this way 
All right, guys. Well, I've got my cove molding scarf together here, dressed any dents or dings with a little filler, sanded all that. You can't even feel that; it won't even show up. Got them cut to length. I don't know if this is going to show up, but I'm going to go ahead and hold one up here just so you can kind of get the idea of what I was going for. So it'll look basically like that. It's going to look nice. Going handheld again. It's just so much easier for me than setting up. So I'm going to move around here. I'll show you what else I've got going on. Let's see here. I've obviously pulled all the wall panels out. This is what I was talking about. You can see how now these are screwed down and fastened as well as the top is done the same way. Once I got the panels out, I just simply took some blocks and put in there, clamped it, screwed the ends, and then worked my way from the center out. I've also secured the jam top and bottom and you can see I've got a groove coming down right here I've got the same one in here I've measured that out I left that shy of my final dimension reason is this is the piece that's going to become the arch that goes over the doorway it's a stop dado up there or a stop groove in this case where this is going to come down so far and it will jet in and then come straight down I want this top edge to lock in securely with that top edge so I'm gonna I'm gonna make the arch and then I'm gonna hand fit those grooves slowly chiseling away till I get it perfect on both sides that's kind of where I'm at right now I believe Just trying to set up and make this all right guys well I lost the Sun so I'll do that arch on another day I'm turning my attention to the small window here I just got kind of things laid out these were originally just rough cut I need to take all these pieces that go around the perimeter as well as these and cut them to the thickness of the plywood. This is basically the layout here. This will have a half lap in the middle for the horizontal and vertical divide. And then this is just the trim material that will go on and frame it out. Alright, well I've got all these pieces cut. They're ready for glue up. Uh, the way I'm going to attack this is I'm going to glue everything up you see but it won't be in the frame or in the wall panel yet and then this frame will be glued together then this will get glued in and then I'll glue the frame on the other side that's how I'm going to do that I've got most of the large window pieces cut I'm not going to bother showing them it's going to be exactly the same as this the only exception or difference between the two is instead of a four light like this one is the other one's a nine light but I'll show the end results. Alright guys, well I've got the windows glued up and installed in the panels. Reinstalled everything, looks good. That's the 4 light you just saw. Here's the 9 light right here. I think I'm going to turn my attention to the arch now. Okay, well I've got the arch cut out here. I just need to soften the edges on it. I'll do that later. A little bit of hand fitting up here with a hammer and chisel and this will be finished. All right, well, I've got the arch fit. Everything's looking good there. I'm almost wrapped up in the top portion here. I need to fasten my peaks, both of them, and I need to fasten this railing, and that will complete this part. I think since it's a nice day, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the ladder. I won't be able to install it without moving the bed, but we'll see what we have to do. All right, guys, well, I've got my ladder pieces all made up and ready to assemble. This wood was pretty rough, as I'd mentioned earlier, so you can see all the body work I've done on it. Uh, all the big dings and big holes, I used a rock hard putty in those, sanded them smooth, and then I gave it a skim of MH Ready patch to kind of pick up all the low spots and even everything out. Uh, the original ladder came up straight on the bed, and I just really do not like things like that, especially for small children. So I designed this to where it actually has an 80 degree slope. 75 would probably be more optimum, but I needed to hold it a little closer to the bed because of the door So got my dados in here. This is ready to go Right over here. I've got my stack of treads Same principle you can see the 10 degree angle on these or 80 depending on how you want to phrase that a little bit of body work here and there and this is the back one that goes up that will get fastened to the bed I've got to Put everything together I'm going to drill glue and screw through the ends I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room for a plug which I'd rather do I may just have to fill those with some rock hard putty 
All right, well, I got the ladder all put together. It's all prepped and ready for primer. I actually spent more time doing the bodywork on this than I did building the ladder. I was able to sneak some plugs in here. Had just enough space to put in an eighth inch plug. Still leave me a quarter inch to fasten with. Good enough. Glued and screwed. Ready to go. I can't install it because my desk over here is in the way. I'm going to have to shift the bed around in order to put it on. But it's going to be held up by a few screws. Alright, well I went ahead and shifted the bed around so I could go ahead and complete the installation of the ladder. Had my daughter test it out. Works fine, no problems. Alright guys, well I'm working on my railing and I've got the bottom fastened. The top is not. I've got a dowel that's going in here, a steel dowel to hold this top railing in place. I've already drilled my hole in the end of here. I don't have doweling jigs, I don't have a dowel center. So to get my hole, the first thing I did was just quarter inch Forstner bit right there. This went on the end. This was not in here. I did it standing up on end. I clamped this right here. I centered my dowel hole to my mark, clamped across here, drilled it with a Forstner bit, a handheld drill. Did that on both ends. I turned out on my lathe a couple of quarter inch dowel pins. They're one and three eighths long out of drill rod and I've also made myself a doweling center and you can see it's quite long. It's just over three quarters of an inch. Now I've got a setback right here I wanted to maintain but I needed to position this so I've clamped this wood right here and I've got this column loose so you can see I can push this out and if I can get it in here I'm working off to the side. Hopefully you can see my dowel center is in there now. This is to act as a guide. So I bring this back. I've already marked my hole. A little light tap and now I've got a perfect center right there that I can use as a reference to drill from. It too is going to be lined up with this piece. I'll actually use my doweling center to position that and it will get clamped on here and I will freehand drill this hole. That's the way I'm going about it with what I have to work with. I'm going to wrap this side up and then I'll break the other column loose and do it the exact same way and everything should be lined up. Alright guys, well I've got the railing wrapped up. It's nice and solid. It turns out I did not need to pull that column on the other end. I just loosened this one back off. I took my screws out from down here. I still had my guide set up here and then put in my center and just slid it over and marked it, put my jig on, drilled the hole, no big deal. I've started taking apart the top because I need to remove the headboard and the sideboard. I need to glue these up and get the cove glued in, do a little bit of round over on things, put them back in and then I'll be moving on to the last couple of things that need to take place. Alright guys, well I've got my headboard and my sideboard reinstalled. I took them out to round the corners over on the plywood as well as glue the cap and the cove on. Everything's looking good. I was going to put some screws in here to support this piece right here, but it turns out after gluing everything up, those aren't even going to be required. Well, alright guys, I've got both my peaks screwed on here. On this one, I've made these corner braces to draw these corners up tight. This block is actually screwed and glued to this upright here. And then there's a single screw that goes in to draw everything together. That seemed to take care of the problem I discovered some time back. Alright guys, well the build is now 100% complete. It's time to tear it down and start doing preparatory work for paint. We're just going to try to walk around it here, give you an overview. Try to pan back in here if I can. You know, the ladder is not in the position where it should be because I simply do not have the space. But, speaking of space, I will be so glad to get this out of here. You'll kind of see as I'm walking around here how much floor space it's eaten up in my shop. Quick pan up to this window. Peek up there. 
and not much to see on the back it's fairly plain but I'll show it nonetheless so there is the back of it like I said I gotta take it out now I'm gonna bring it in one piece at a time do the body work sanding and then we'll prime and paint it all right guys well it's out of my shop for now I've got some residual things to take care of most of you know that I'm in an extremely small one car space here and to get this amount of real estate back wow I feel like I'm in a mansion right now so like I'd said I'll start bringing in the pieces we'll do the body work and prep for paint alright guys well I've got everything sanded and in primer it's a little dark in here so I'm just gonna do a quick pan around I'm using a Zenzer shellac based primer that's what I like to use that uh, sands easy so these are now ready to be sanded and inspected for anything I might have missed in the bodywork portion once you get primer on these things it's a lot easier to see any imperfections Specifically on this ladder, I'm going to have to do a little bit more surgery on it. I don't even know if this is going to pick up. But you can see where the grain, have a, these are grains in this wood that is actually lifted up. So I'm going to have to carve this out and fill it and then spot prime it back. Uh, the ladder is probably the worst part because it was absolutely the worst wood I was using. But we're making ground. Okay, here's a quick shot of the upper deck and primer. Many of you may wonder why I put this flooring on in advance. Well, it's kind of a hindsight being 2020. In my original design, the pieces of wood that were coming across here to support the wall sections were going to be permanently affixed to it, so the flooring needed to run up underneath, therefore it needed to go on in advance. Since I changed my design midstream, that wasn't really necessary. So it's just a matter of me masking it off to shoot it like I did here, and then I'll mask it again whenever I put the top coat on. All right, guys, well, it's been scorching hot around here, record-breaking temperatures. I think it was 115 on the index last Friday. It's Wednesday now. The weather finally started cooperating, so I started painting last night. Today it's been nice and overcast got quite a bit painted but you can see where I'm at right now it never fails it seems like every time I need to paint something it's either dark raining or windy <laughs> it's just the way it goes I have this black cloud that seems to follow me around it's only when it comes to painting though all right guys well I've got everything sprayed I used the Sherwin-Williams Pro Classic paint I really like it and I had it on hand I shot most of this after dark outside with a headlamp. Surprisingly very little trash in it and just a, two or three bugs to pick out. No big deal there. Everything is dry but now I'm on the cure time which is always something I usually rush. It's going to take a good couple weeks for this to fully cure. I know I'll end up putting it together before that but I'm trying to wait as long as I can so if I go to take it apart later it's not summer sealed together. This is most of it. I'll show a clip here in a moment of the other two big components I have stored elsewhere. I've got a little issue down here. I don't know if it will pick up. For some reason, this part of the plywood delaminated right here on this crack. I doubt you can even see it. My shadow's in the way. Right there. I'm going to try to squeeze a little bit of glue in there and clean it off and put some tape. And then I'll come back and touch it up. It won't be a big deal putting it together, but if I take it apart, that's going to just tear right out. But all in all, I'm completely pleased. Here's a quick shot of the underside of the upper deck. It turned out pretty nice. I've got the platform down here on the floor, as well as the front piece that goes on the top surround. I only painted the outside of this base, just primer on the inside, no sense in painting that. All the fasteners that will be visible have been painted with a gloss white, so they'll kind of meld into the surface. I also ordered from Granger three rolls of this eighth inch by half inch felt. These are ten foot long rolls. I have wood floors, 
So I don't want this thing scratching up my floor and using just round furniture pads and stuff won't be conducive. So any surface that is going to contact the floor is going to get this underneath prior installation. All right, guys, well, we waited as long as we could. It's been 12 days since I shot this paint. It's now time for final assembly. We didn't think this day was ever going to come. I am just going to show the general procedure on how this is being put together as it unfolds. All right, well, I've installed these on the upper deck, put that column in, and then right over here, another one just to help support it. Everything is going together loose, and once I get everything together, then I'll tighten up all the fasteners. All right, well, we've got the big window installed, the sideboard, and then we set this column in place. All right, same ritual here. Slid this back wall in, as well as the headboard, and then installed this column. All right, well, I've got the railing installed. That was just a matter of pulling this column, dialing it, screwing it putting this column back all right guys well I've got this top band installed and locked down at this point I'm gonna go ahead and slide it off into the corner and ensure my ladder comes down without hitting anything and then we'll move on all right guys well I've pulled this ladder down and mocked this one up you can see what I meant by taking the front and the peak the jam and that window out so that does give me plenty of clearance to get up and down out of the attic when I need to. All right, well, I installed that peak back there on that back wall. And then I dropped this wall with the window in, followed by the jam, the arch, the cross piece here. And then finally, the last peak was screwed on right there. All right, guys, well, we've got the ladder and the platform all secured. This is the final piece right here. That makes 100%. This is the little hook I've made where I can just go in here, turn it, and then you can open this right back up. We did this because we didn't want any hardware right here. All right, guys, there it is. It's finished. I'm certainly glad to have the project done. Just going to kind of pan around and show everything in the shot. It's kind of dark in here right now. Railings. Try to come around this way. The ladder actually turned out nice after all that body work I had to do. Still left some room here for a little nightstand. Get a shot of the front of it. flooring turned out good the nine light and just a simple flat back wall All right, guys, like I said in the last clip or so, it's now 100% complete. I'm going to say it again. It's 100% complete. I can't believe that's coming out of my mouth because this project has been going on and off for about six months now. It took a long time to do it, regardless if I worked on it every day. It was a big project. It's 100% complete. I can't believe it. For those of you that might be wondering what it would cost to build something like this, I honestly cannot tell you because I had tons of wood on hand, I had the paint, I had some primer, just everything that I had around here I could use to throw at that project, I did if it was available. But I can say what our cash out of pocket was to make it all come together and happen and that was $481.85. That included the mattress and any other thing that we needed down to the simplest little screw. So if anybody's made it this far in the build, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was long and that's why I chose to 
kind of condense everything and to kind of bullet point everything out. With that being said, thanks for watching guys and good luck.